Yo, 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 what is up, you guys? So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about um, a program that's going to help some of you, if not most of you, with insomnia and other sleeping behaviors that might affect your life. And also, if you have, uh, if your eyesight is going and it's kind of associated to always staring at a computer, um, this should help you. So uh, the program I want to show you is called Flux, or F dot Lux, and I'll give you guys a link down below for this as well. And basically, I'll show you what it does. So right now, this is changing the temperature of my screens. So it's removing all the bright reds and blues because the bright reds and blues, um, if you look at that right before you go to sleep or if it's just something you stare at all day, that really can mess up your sleeping pattern. And, you know, I've been an insomniac for a very long time and I kind of got over it by not using my computers as much at night or by using this and this is really great so i'll kind of disable it so you can see the natural color of my screen so now it's going to start to go back into this super white color so let me switch it actually to my computer screen now so uh you can see this is what it looks like super uh right now this seems super bright to me but to you this probably is very normal looking so let me enable it so let let it just kind of change the color temperature so it's just removing all the bright blues and reds and this is actually kind of nice and pleasant to look at and i have a whole drawer of eye drops because my eyes used to always be dry I, i've always had 20 20 vision my whole life but the last few years i've been kind of grinding more at my computer kind of putting in a lot more work into productions and blah blah blah. so it's it's just required more time at the computer and staring at screens and uh my eyesight is not what it used to be because of that and that is a very serious issue, as well as being an insomniac, just because the f the last thing I do before I go to sleep is turn off my computers. And, you know, then I'm restless in bed and I have this kind of, not high energy, but this kind of restless sleeping uh, dis uh, kind of problem. And once I started using this, it kind of really started to help. So even if you do have to grind all night, um, you know, I just use this. And as soon as I'm turn off my computers, I can go sleep and you get a much deeper sleep from this because I, I forget what it is, but there's this chemical in your body that your body stops producing for like four hours after you look at really bright uh, blue and red lights. Because during the day, your body, uh, computer screens are supposed to mimic like the brightness of the sun. So that way they look nice and you know, we can focus on them, but that is exactly the problem. We, we don't blink, blink as much when we're looking at a screen. Our minds are tricking themselves to thinking they're, you know, in the sun or like, you know, that kind of behavior. So your body is adjusted for a daylight sort of behavior. So you're not going to go to sleep when it's nice and bright and sunny. That's just kind of in our evolution, you know, daytime is the time for humans to be up and around in nighttime since we're not night creatures we we go to sleep but if you're staring at a computer screen your mind is literally gonna not know how to react to trying to go to sleep and when you try to go to sleep when you're insomniac and you're just restless in your bed that is super frustrating and you wouldn't think that someone like me a music youtuber would get messages about i would say every few weeks someone sends me a message about depression which is very odd because I do music tutorials. But, you know, these people, they, I guess they respect me in some way that they can come to me and talk to me about this. And we always kind of, I, I always kind of try to figure out the, their angle, you know, what, what it is. And I always ask, well, is it music? Is it just, you're not where you're at musically? And is that what's depressing you? And they're like, no, no, that's like the last thing I care about. My depression comes from like, just you know it's, it's always some other thing and a lot of other different reasons with every other person but what it always kind of comes back to is just a general behavior uh and usually you can i can always figure out that these people aren't sleeping enough or that they sleep too much or something like that it's always some sort of sleeping behavior because if you're up all night and you finally have you've had a few hours where you're not looking at a computer you're just laying in your bed restless and then the day the sun comes up and now you're sleeping until like halfway into the afternoon, you know, that, you know, sleeping disorders can always lead to all sorts of like psychological problems. And uh, I'm definitely not an expert or anything like this on any of 
the scientific matter of what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, lack of sleep can always lead to depressions and other psychological behaviors that are bad for you. And, you know, as humans, we need our sleep. It's super important. And I think as a creative person, now I can speak from an area that I am pretty knowledgeable about and experienced. And as a creative person, we we need to rest and, and put distance between our work. And, and the good thing about sleep is that we're able, that is the perfect amount of distance because then you set up the next day, your, your schedule, or whatever, and how you're going to attack a new project. And that is just great for a creative mind and a creative mind needs to sleep. A creative mind is a busy mind. And if your busy mind is not working at its full cycle of what it needs to, to, to come up with great ideas and all that because when we're not work because our minds will always give our energy to our primal side of being a human you know the basic things like eating and and the habit and pattern based automated versions of the humans you know without our smart brains we would just be automated creatures that just eat and s- try to stay alive and that's the first thing that gets our energy and then you know our other energy the last piece of energy that humans preserve is for their creative mind. So if you're not getting your sleep, you're not going to be able to be as creative as you would be. So um, leading back into what I was talking about earlier with people that message me, you know, I always kind of tell them, you know, try to distance yourself from work. And now I wish I'd given them the advice to to sleep better and you know install this. So what this is um, now coming back to this is it takes your location and once it starts to turn into night it starts to uh, change the color temperature of your screens and this is also for like iPhone, iPad, a Mac, PC, uh, Android I'm sure. Um, I'm pretty sure with um, with iPad and iPhone you have to jailbreak it with a software called Cydia but it's on their website so it tells you where to get that. Um, and that's pretty good. You, I, I would totally recommend this on all your devices. Uh, Again, even if you're not an insomniac, like if your eyes are always burning from looking at a screen, my eyes, like I said, I have a whole drawer of eye drops, like seven different kinds for all sorts of different types of dryness and all that. Um, this will also, if you don't even have insomniac problems, this will also just help with your eye problems. You know, this I, I can look at my computer screen for hours and it really does not bother my eyes at all. Um, and at least when this is on at night, sometimes I turn it on during the day just because I feel like, oh shit, my eyes are getting a little bit like, you know, dry. And that's just because we don't blink as much when we look at a computer. And I tell myself, okay, bl-, you know, I consciously tell myself to blink and remind myself because I know my eyes will get dry, even with eye drops. And, and I've been using this for a whole week. So I've been testing this for a week before I bring it up and mention it to you guys. And I don't even use eye drops anymore. I have much deeper sleep. I'm not an insomniac anymore. I, I sleep on normal cycles, which is pretty rare for me because usually I'll fix my sleeping cycle for a few days and then I'll go back into like insomniac mode. And that's just because my mornings, I don't have to do anything in the mornings. I'm not a high school student. I'm not a, you know, if I do have college classes, which I'm not even attending right now, um, you know, I usually set those later in the afternoon. So I never have the responsibility of waking up early hour in the mornings. I, you know, if I wake up after 10, I'm right on time for whatever I have to do. And um, now I'm waking up like hours before that, which has been years, years since I've been able to do that, uh, you know, without the pressure of work or, you know, other responsibilities. Just on my own, I'm waking up and going to sleep at a better time just because of this. This also kind of trains you to know that the night's coming and it kind of mentally prepares you to go to sleep. Your mind is a, and somehow acknowledging that it's nighttime and it starts getting you ready to go to sleep. And that's a really good thing. And you look, even if you want to grind away all night, like I've even grinded it away a whole night, like from you know 11 p.m. to like 6 a.m., like a whole night. And uh, I was using this and my eyes did not hurt. And when I needed to go to sleep right away, I could do it. And I didn't, I wasn't going to sleep right away because I was super tired. I mean, I've done those kind of long nights all the time. But the only difference is back then, I was looking at my screen like this. So let me kind of bring it back. And now that seems super bright. Now that you've been watching this video for a little bit, 
used getting used to that color temperature now that you realize how this could be bad for you and it is bad for you you know i'm it, it's just you know in this new age of technology we kind of are slowly realizing it's negative side effects on humans definitely looking at a computer screen that's designed to mimic the brightness of the sun in terms of like capturing our attention all that that is not good for you and especially if you need to go sleep so hopefully i haven't talked too much about this kind of going around circles now so i will give you guys a link where you can get this this is a free software so that's the greatest thing about it as well it's not something you have to pay for and it really does help you out. So if you do have irritated eyes all the time, I would check this out. If you can't sleep, I would check this out. And it's just a really good software and I totally recommend getting it on all your devices. It's free, just jailbreak it on an iPad or iPhone or um, get it on Mac or PC. And I will say that on my MacBook here, uh, it, it does color it a lot more. Like it does look more like a, like a very tinted yellow because the the MacBook screen, for whatever reason, is just a lot brighter. And so it tints it a lot more to compensate for that. My, my PC monitors are not as bright as my MacBook screen. And that's kind of why I like using it more on the PC, because it looks more like a natural... Uh, it kind of naturally looks more... Uh, the color temperature isn't as severe, I suppose. Where, whereas on the MacBook, I can definitely... It kind of bothers me a little bit more because it's such an obvious tint, but here it's more transparent. So I'll kind of show you the 24-hour cycle. So um, during the day, it, it is bright, and that's fine. And at night, it starts to get more tinted, and that even makes me sleepy, and which is great. And if I, don't, if I do need to do like Photoshop stuff or video editing stuff or things that I need my, my full color spectrum, you know, you can always just disable it for an hour. And, you know, that's pretty great. And now I'm actually, I'll admit, I'm afraid to use it, to, to use my computers without this software now at night because I'm worried that it's going to make my eyes super dry and it's not going to let me sleep. So I would definitely, again, I'm not like a medical doctor. I don't study sleep behavior. I'm just been someone who's been an insomniac for years and grinding away on my computer for nights. And I'll tell you that this works for me. And... I told from the little research I've done on it, I, I get the science behind it, and I recommend you check it out for yourself. So let's look at the 24-hour slope. So I'm just going to double click on it. It's going to do a 24-hour preview. So this is what it looks like at night, and then during the day it gets nice and bright, and then it gets uh, darker again. And of course you can set the transition times between all that, and you know you can mess around with this. So you can always accommodate it to whatever you want. I just basically have it on default. So Again, uh, the first time you install this, it just asks for what city you're in, or it'll ask if it can receive your location based on latitude or whatever. And then it, when it's nighttime, this starts to kick in, and when it's daytime, it starts to get brighter. So around 5 a.m., this thing is all right, uh, you know, starting to back off the tent and go back into our normal brightness. And so, you know, I can change that if I want. If I wanted to start kicking in to a normal brightness around seven then that's good because some nights I'm at, some days I'm awake at 5 a.m. and I don't want, and I'll probably be wanting to sleep so I'll, yeah I'll set it to that so again I'll highly recommend this for you guys um, the only reason why I'm doing this video is because I've gotten enough messages from people complaining about sleep or depressions that I that I am at least I'm not a psychiatrist or you're whatever I don't know their psychological psyche but i'm assuming that just being a computer producer that they are having some sort of sleep behavior and that can manifest whatever problems they already have whether that's depressions that they already have and put on top of that music producing and looking at computers and not being able to sleep even more i'm just you know i've gotten enough of those messages to now uh, feel like i should do a video about something like that, even if it's in the smallest minor way. I feel like I know at least a good 40 or 50 people that have contacted me throughout the last year and a half. Um, I feel like this video is really more for them, so I'm sure there's going to be some of my subscribers that are going to think this is a really stupid video, but I don't care. I'm here to help anyone I can, 
and and can't help everyone at once. So hopefully you guys like this. I will leave a link down below. I've talked already so so much. I could have just gave you guys a link and talked about it for a second, and that would have been a video. But you know me, I like to keep talking. So thanks guys for watching, and of course, lates.